Emily Dial, the founder of the Bennett Project, knows the devastation families face when a child is diagnosed okay. with cancer. We lost Ben in 2003, he was 10 years old. And we did a lot of fundraising after we lost Ben. That was our therapy to get through things. And Emily's kind of grown up with that. She was about 12 years old when we lost Ben. And she's just taken it and run with it. And she knows as a sibling what it's like to experience, you know, the terrible devastation of cancer. And this is something that, you know, you're living your life and then all of a sudden, it's just a, an abrupt 90 degree change. We were told that there was a lesion. It could very likely be retinoblastoma. At the time, we didn't know what that was. We got her in immediately, do a quick eye exam, to which they saw you, that girl. she did have some tumors. And she went under um, anesthesia for them to take a look closer at the tumors that she had in her eyes and diagnose a um, retinoblastoma and create a treatment plan to which we started chemo and, and all kinds of things after that. I mean, the things you thought were important are no longer important. So that's why Emily's here to help help the families just a little bit of normalcy. It's been over four years now and the Bennett Project is still going. And unfortunately, we're increasing the number of families that are registered with us. Uh, we never like to get the referrals, but we have over 200 families registered with the Bennett Project right now. And we are a nonprofit that is volunteer based. So all the volunteers, all the board, um, it's 100% volunteer based. So everything that we receive goes directly to the families we support. My nephew was diagnosed with pediatric brain cancer in 2019. And after he recovered from his first surgery and radiation, I was looking for a way to give back to organizations that serve families like ours and saw a post on Facebook that the Bennett Project was looking for someone to help with some financials and things like that. And that is what I do in my real life. And so this seems like a perfect fit to find a way to give back to a small not-for-profit that helps families like ours. The Bennett Project strives to benefit the whole family through their special events. First and foremost, we really love their, their Christmas project that they have, where they have families come in, they bring Santa, they have gifts, you pick out a certain number of gifts per child, but ultimately they can come, meet Santa, um, write down their Christmas list, um, eat cookies, and have a. You know, there's a story time piece to it. And so she really enjoyed coming to that, even though she's not necessarily the child that's been diagnosed with cancer, she gets to be a super sibling, as they call it, with the Bennett Project. They each receive a gift card during each one's birthday month, so neither feel left out. So the siblings are included in everything we do, including the quarterly family events. Their whole families are invited to that. It's just a time for the families to socialize and interact with each other and kind of, you know, bounce off ideas of what's been going on through treatment with each other. Okay. What's well, just good for families that are going through the same thing? They can relate to each other. They can. They don't have to worry about putting on a front for others. Along with fun activities for the families, the Bennett Project also provides support for families struggling financially. We do the extracurricular activity grants, so the families can apply for a grant in the spring and fall semester. We provide the grants for different sports. They can use it for dance or swim lessons, whichever gets them out going. Kind of like a form of therapy in our opinion. So when we first began, we started with one to two families a month with financial aid and at $200. Now we do about eight families a month at 300. So that goes to, they can use it for groceries if they need to, uh, they can use it for utilities, whichever benefits them the most. My son Owen is almost nine, and if you ask him to this day, he will still say that he started the Bennett Project and he runs everything day to day. Uh, but we started the Bennett Project with giving toys at ho the hospitals during Christmas. And he started the Bennett Project because of the importance of giving back to others in memory of Ben. So even though he never got the chance to meet Ben, he uh, knows everything about what we went through and how important it is to help the other kids. The Bennett Project has given me many opportunities, not only within our community, 
you know, meeting new people and interacting with them, meeting these families that I would have never met. Some of these families are my best friends now, um, just because what makes us a little different is we like to check on our families really often. We like to see how they're doing, if they need anything, so that way we can be there for them at all times. Doggy ball. Okay. <laughs>